All right, literally got my Ender 3 built yesterday and did my first print, did that cat little demo thing that they have in the files. And uh, right away I jumped into uh, printing a larger piece because the, you know, it came out great looking. But one thing that I had happen was, I don't know if you can see right where the edge of my screwdriver is. See that little area right there? Well, I had a power outage and it was like a quick, uh, I don't know, like three seconds maybe, just enough of a flash, but it was enough that it killed the power on the ender. And it went into, when it restarted, you know, resume print. That's great. But that little blip area is, that's right where the print had stopped. And you can see what it did. It kind of like, it got really weird. Um, so, to prevent that, I installed a, a battery backup. Um, next to a unit and not that I expect if I have a, like a you know the powers out for hours for this thing to keep going but it's gonna help with those like quick three minute you know uh, 30 second power outages where you don't have to worry about the print head sitting on your piece and like melting and giving it like a blemish uh, something that you're gonna have to fix later on and I mean you see the power button there I mean so that mimics the power being off and it's still going. So it obviously recognized that there was a power outage, but it didn't stop, didn't lose a beat. But anyway, I think that's probably a great upgrade if you're thinking about it. Uh, I think I bought this power pack uh, battery backup for like 50 bucks on Amazon. And uh, just to give you peace of mind. So if you got like a 30 hour print or something, you lose power for, you know, have a power surge or something. At least your work's not going to stop, and that that element's going to give you a uh, like a, a blur like that. But anyway, I hope that helps everybody out there. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Brian from Garage Mahal. Be safe out there.